Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 16th november first question is which of the following cities is the principal seat of madhya pradesh high court right answer is jabalpur jabalpur is the principal seat of madhya pradesh high court if we talk about high courts calcutta high court is the oldest high court in india it was established on 1st july 1862 Presently there are 24 high courts however from next year there will be 25 as Andhra Pradesh will have separate high court from next year if we talk about high courts with wide jurisdiction Mumbai high court has jurisdiction over Maharashtra Dadra and Nagar Haveli Goa Daman and Diu Calcutta high court has jurisdiction over West Bengal Andaman and Nicobar islands Madras High Court has jurisdiction over Tamil Nadu and Puducherry while Guwahati High Court has jurisdiction over four states these four states are Assam Nagaland Mizoram and Arunachal Pradesh Kerala High Court has jurisdiction over Kerala and Lakshadweep while Punjab and Haryana High Court has jurisdiction over Punjab Haryana and Union Territory of Chandigarh next question is India has recently signed pact with which country to collaborate on cancer research right answer is UK India has signed agreement with United Kingdom on cancer research 7th November is observed as National Cancer Awareness Day oncology is a branch of medicine that deals with prevention diagnosis and treatment of cancer a person who practice oncology is oncologist This year the Nobel Prize in Medicine was also associated with cancer. The Nobel Prize was given to Mr James P Ellison and Mr Tashuku Honjo for their discovery of cancer therapy by inhibition of negative immune regulation. The capital of United Kingdom is London and the prime minister is Ms Theresa May. Recently Ms Swati Chaturvedi has been given London Press Freedom Award for Courage. Next question is who has been honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award at 6th Indian Social Work Congress in New Delhi? Right answer is Dr. Martha Farrell. The 6th Indian Social Congress which held in New Delhi honored Dr. Martha Farrell with Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Farrell is being recognized for her lifetime work towards gender equality women empowerment and prevention of sexual harassment at workplace if we talk about few other awards prime minister modi will be given seoul peace prize for 2018 ms meerabai chanu and mr virat kohli has been awarded rajiv gandhi khel ratan award mr bharat watwani and mr sonam wangchuk has been awarded 2018 ramon magsase award while mr debbhushan bora has been awarded 2018 monin barkoto ki literary award the award is given to the aspiring writers in assamese language next question is isro has successfully launched gsat 29 satellite into space from which launch vehicle right answer is gslv mark 3 isro's gsat 29 telecommunication satellite was successfully launched with the help of GSLV Mark 3D2 GSLV stands for Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle if we talk about GSAT 29 it is a telecommunication satellite it will cater to the communication requirements of users including remote areas specifically from Jammu and Kashmir and northeast region of India if we talk about GSLV Mark 3 GSLV Mark 3 is a fifth generation launch vehicle designed by ISRO. If we talk about ISRO, ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization. It is under Department of Space. It was formed on 15th August 1969 and the headquarters is in Bengaluru. Dr. K Sivan is the present ISRO chief. Antrix is the commercial arm of ISRO. Answer in comment box who is the present chief of DRDO and DRDO is under which ministry next question is 
who has been appointed as the new chief representative for Asia and Pacific by Bank for International Settlements right answer is Siddhant Tiwari Mr Tiwari has been appointed as new chief representative for Asia and Pacific by Bank for International Settlements if we talk about BIS it is Bank for International Settlements it is a international financial institution owned by central banks it was established on 17th may 1930 and the headquarter is in basel basel is in switzerland answer in comment box who has been selected for prestigious raja ram mohan roy award next question is which state police has launched e learning portal nipun for training its personnel right answer is delhi police delhi police has recently launched nipun e learning portal it is online self learning and assessment platform for delhi police apart from that hyderabad city police also started bharosa initiative bharosa support center for women and children if we talk about delhi two constitutional amendment act are very important 69th constitutional amendment act provided for the legislative assembly of delhi while 70th constitutional amendment act included delhi and puducherry in the electoral college for presidential election delhi government can make laws in all areas of state list except public order police and land if we talk about state list union list and concurrent list these list are mentioned in 7th schedule of constitution the union list contains 100 items state list contains 61 items and concurrent list contains 52 items answer in comment box who has been appointed as india's new ambassador to iran next question is which indian sports person has been appointed as unicef india's first ever youth ambassador right answer is hima das miss hima das has been appointed as unicef india's first ever youth ambassador if we talk about unicef it is united nations children's fund it was established in 1946 and the headquarter is in new york in united states if we talk about miss hima das she is also known as dhing express she is the sports ambassador of assam she recently signed an endorsement deal with adidas answer in comment box what is india's ranking in ease of doing business index next question is which of the following international personalities will be chief guest at 2019 republic day parade of india right answer is mr cyril ramaphosa mr cyril ramaphosa who is the president of south africa will be the chief guest at 2019 republic day parade if we talk about the presidents mentioned in other options mr petro poroshenko is the president of ukraine and the capital of ukraine is kyiv mr ashraf ghani is the president of afghanistan and the capital of afghanistan is kabul while mr morasio makri is the president of argentina argentina is a south american country and the capital of argentina is buenos aires recently the summer youth olympics also held in argentina and mr jermi lal renuga became the first indian to win gold medal in youth olympics now coming back to mr cyril ramaphosa he is the president of south africa mr ramaphosa would be the second leader from south africa to attend this event former president nelson mandela was the chief guest at 1995 Republic Day Parade. If we talk about Mr. Mandela in Africa, popularly he is known as Madiba. He was awarded Bharat Ratan by the government of India in 1990 and in 1993 he was given Nobel Peace Prize. If we talk about Bharat Ratan, it is the highest award by the government of India. It was established in 1954 and and the first three awardee were Mr C Raja Gopalachari Mr Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan and Mr C V Raman answer in comment box on which day national education day is 
celebrated. Next question is which city is the venue of 2018 Women's World Boxing Championship? Right answer is New Delhi. The 2018 Women's World Boxing Championship will be in New Delhi. It will be the 10th edition and Miss Mary Com has been named as brand ambassador for 10th edition of World Championship. The event is under the purview of AIBA. AIBA is International Boxing Association. It is a sports federation which was formed in 1946 and the headquarter is in Lausanne in Switzerland. Recently, Mr. Gafur Rakimo has been elected as the new president of AIBA. Answer in comment box which film was India's lone entry at Rome Film Festival 2018. Next question is which country is the current chair at 13th East Asia Summit? Right answer is Singapore. The 13th East Asia Summit held in Singapore. Therefore, Singapore is the current chair. The leaders of 18 countries of Asia Pacific region which included 10 ASEAN countries and 8 other countries took part in the summit from india prime minister mr modi attended the meeting if we talk about ASEAN members it is a grouping of 10 countries these are myanmar thailand cambodia singapore indonesia malaysia vietnam laos philippines and brunei the headquarter of ASEAN is in jakarta jakarta is the capital of indonesia apart from east asia summit ASEAN summit RCEP summit also held in Singapore recently RCEP is a regional comprehensive economic partnership which includes 10 ASEAN members and 6 other countries these 6 countries are China Japan and South Korea and India Australia and New Zealand so total there are 16 countries and therefore it is also known as ASEAN plus 6 Now if we include USA and Russia then that grouping is East Asia Summit members that means ASEAN has 10 countries RCEP has 16 countries which are members while East Asia Summit has 18 countries thank you and that's all for the day